Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to apologize for not putting out any tech tip videos last week. I was on vacation, uh, but now that I'm back, we'll get back to our normal Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Um, so thanks for hanging in there. So this week's tech tip is for all you parents out there. As we move towards a school year that is inevitably going to include lots of online learning, your kids are going to be spending a lot of time on their devices. And because you have to work, you can't necessarily keep an eye on them all the time. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about different types of parental controls on your devices. Now there are a number of different uh, parental control systems out there that are native to devices, for example, Apple has a great uh, parental control system integrated into their Macs. Um, the Android ecosystem has uh, Android Family Link, which is a really easy to use app that you can set up on any Android device and Chromebook that will allow you to keep an eye on what your kids are doing with their devices. But Microsoft announced just a few days ago that they're updating their family safety system uh, to first of all include iOS and integrate a number of new really cool features. So let's jump in and take a look at how this is going to work. So the new Microsoft Family Safety app is in preview for iOS and Android. Um, this is the new version of the app. Um, this has been around for a little while and it's had great features. Um, you could set time limits, you could set uh, content blocking, all that kind of stuff that you would normally see with parental controls. Uh, but the update, um, as I understand it, has uh, redesigned their interface a little bit and included some new features. So let's take a look. So uh, one thing is you're obviously going to have the ability to um, see what your kids are up to um, when they're using their computer. So what websites they're going on, what apps they're using, how much time they're spending on each of those apps. But what's also really cool, if you look at this screenshot, it shows how much time is spent on each different device. And that's one of the coolest things about this family safety app is it's not tied to a specific device, it's tied to an account. So if your kids are using an iPad, an Xbox, and a Windows computer, as long as those three devices are signed in with the same Microsoft account, then you'll be able to see how much time your kids are spending on each one of those individual devices, which is really, really cool. Um, the other thing that's really cool about the screen time is normally with parental controls, you would say, okay, my child is allowed two hours of screen time, um, you know, Monday through Friday and three hours of screen time on the weekend. And it has nothing to do with what they're doing. It's just usage of the computer. So the new Microsoft Family Safety app will actually allow you to set time limits for specific apps. So you can set a half hour for Minecraft, a half hour for Fortnite, and two hours for using Edge so that the kids can do their homework and not have the time spent on Minecraft or Fortnite eat into the time that you had dedicated to them doing their homework on Edge. So you can allot, let's say, a half hour for Minecraft, and when that time is up, then Minecraft will no longer be able to be used, and your kids will be able to ask for permission to play for longer, and you can add 10 or 15 minutes or a half hour of whatever you'd like to that specific app. So the time limits are app-based, which is really, really cool. Um, there are content controls, which allows you to filter content by age, both in on the internet and in the Microsoft Store. And obviously you can regulate what your kids will be able to download and install and all that kind of stuff. There is one caveat to the content controls on the internet, and they only apply if your kids use Microsoft Edge. So if they're using Chrome or Safari or Firefox or a different browser, the Microsoft Family Safety app will not apply your uh, filter settings to those browsers. So part of setting this up is going to be making sure that on all of the devices that your kids are using, they are only allowed to use the Microsoft Edge app and not the others. Otherwise, these filters are basically for nothing. Um, the other thing that's really cool that's coming with this app is location sharing. So um, when you set up your family, which we'll take a look at in one moment, um, when you set up your family within the Microsoft Safety app, you can, based on their device, if they have an iPhone or, or any internet connected device, you can see where they are at any given time. And actually, uh, as I understand, there's going to be a premium version of this. I'm not sure what it's going to cost but essentially it's going to allow you to get push notifications when each of your family members arrive and leave at certain specific locations that you can preload into the system. So it really helps you um, stay on top of what your kids are up to without having to constantly be monitoring the app, which is great. Um, so this is in preview. 
which means that it's out for testing and Microsoft is looking for feedback on the new features. Um, if you go to this website, which I'll include a link in the description of this video, you can click this link that says get the preview and you basically fill out a Microsoft form and that will um, basically uh, ask for permission to enter the testing of this app and um, you'll be able to set it up and, and all that good stuff. So to set this up, uh, I just wanna briefly go through the, the process of setting this up. So this is the current Microsoft Family Safety app. This is not the new updated one. The way that this works is you come to this site. It's account.microsoft.com slash family. Um, I can include a link in the description of this video to this as well. And you're gonna wanna log in with your Microsoft account. So you basically sign in. And then what you would do is create a family group. Um, that would basically, I'd have a, a family that's called Rob's family. And what I would then do is invite family members uh, to join my family. And the key is you need their email address to have them join. If they don't have an email address, you can set them up one in this process. And by doing so, it creates your kids a Microsoft account, which is good if you use Xbox or any other Microsoft products. And essentially on all of their devices, they need to be signed in with the specific email account that you set them up with within the family. And that's how all of the limitations and content filters and all that stuff apply is it's all through the email address that they're signed into their devices with. So that's really important. You need to make sure that when you set this up on all of their devices, they're signed in with the same Microsoft account. That's really all there is to it. Once you have a family set up, you basically can select each family member, set their time limits, set the content filters and all that good stuff. And then it applies automatically. And you can monitor all of the, the reports and all of the uh, actions and all of the stuff that um, gets recorded in the uh, family safety app right from this website or the app on your phone, which is really cool. So as this updated family safety app rolls out, we'll have to see what new features it includes and we'll have to see how it functions. Uh, but it seems like it's gonna be really cool. I really like the um, app specific time limits that's not uh, tied to a specific device. I think that's really cool, uh, especially if your kids are into gaming. So we'll take a look at how this works once it gets released. Uh, and that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, hit that subscribe button. I release new tech tips every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. And check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops, private lessons, and summer camp. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.